The sandwiches for the Usina are almost ready. Is there anything else I can get you? Um, how about one of those blueberry muffins? Okay, you got it. Hi, can I help you with something? Yes, a takeout coffee, please. Okay. And that blueberry muffin looks really good. Uh, actually, he just beat you to the punch. Oh, no. Give the muffin to the lady, please, Beth. Oh, no, I wouldn't hear it. Please, give the muffin to the officer. He ordered it first. And would you please tell the lady that I've changed my mind? She needs the muffin or her blood sugar might drop and make her crash into my car. <laughs> please, tell the officer not to worry about my blood sugar. I'm afraid that if I take the muffin, he'll accuse me of grand theft, slap his handcuffs on me, and haul me off to the police station for another night in jail. And would you please tell okay, you the lady... That's it. Okay, I've got another customer, so you guys just settle this yourself, okay? All the rotten luck. My day finally takes a turn for the better and I have to run into you. I hope this is the last time. Not as much as I do. You know, maybe we should check our daily schedules so we don't keep bumping into each other. Well, you might have noticed my police car parked out front. Oh, that's right. You have a blind spot when it comes to police cars. That's why you keep smashing into mine. Thank goodness not everyone in this town is as mean-spirited and petty as you. Oh? You know, I met somebody today who's actually nice, pleasant, who doesn't base his whole life on hating my family. Must be from out of town. You know, I don't even know why I bother trying to talk to you. Beats me. But maybe between your new friend and your hundred hours of community service, you can find a way to stay out of trouble for a while. On second thought, I will take that muffin. You got away with kids, too. <laughs> they just like my perfume. So, have you decided how much my community service is worth to you? Look like you're in a hurry. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting out of this neighborhood. I ran into that creep I told you about next door. You should have whistled. I would have come running and taught the weasel a lesson. <laughs> That's okay. I think I got through to the weasel myself. I'm pretty sure it's the last I'll see of him. So how much should I make the checkout for? Um, well, I've got a confession to make. I'm not the director. But you said that... I, I know, I... I was left in charge until the real director gets back. He's the guy you want to talk to. You like him, he's a nice guy. There he is now. You! What is it now, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald? You're everywhere I go. You're the one who's way out of place here, Ms. Crane. <laughs> As usual, you don't know what you're talking about because I'm here to see... Oh, no, it can't be. What's the problem this time, Ms. Crane? The blueberry muffin that you filched from me didn't quite meet your high standards. Oh, please, tell me you're following me. Tell me anything. Just don't tell me you're the director of this youth center. The one and only. Now, what about it? And luck get any worse. I thought I'd never see you again. Will someone please tell me what's going on here? You know the woman I told you about? The one who's driving me crazy? That's her. Oh. Oh, man. Now, I've got some work to do, so I'd appreciate it if you'd leave. You see, this is the youth center. A place where kids who don't have bags of money can hang out, learn things. You've obviously made the wrong turn. The jewelry store is down the block. I didn't make a wrong turn. I'm here because of you. Don't tell me you're here because of me. That's the last thing in the world that I would want. Oh, believe me, I want it even less. So, when did you two lovebirds meet? This is the guy I told you about, the one that I've crossed paths with a few times. Crossed paths? Now, why don't you tell him the truth? You smashed into two of my cars. You know, if your friend could have gotten his way, I never would have made it out of jail. And you think this is all because your last name is Crane? I know it is. You two shouldn't be in the same room at the same time. Well, you got that right. Would you mind showing the lady to her car, Hank? I want her out of here. 
There was nothing I would like better than to leave and never come back, but I can't. Oh, and why not? And don't tell me it's because of me again. Uh, actually, Luis, she needs to see the director. Oh, yeah? But why is that? Because Judge Lawford assigned me to the director of the Youth Center for my community service. You work here with me. No way, no how. I don't care who told you to perform your community service here. It's not gonna happen. Hey, if I could change my sentence, I would. Oh, what game are you playing now? What? You really asking me to believe that you didn't plan this? What were you hoping to accomplish by coming here? Excuse me? Oh, did you think that I was gonna throw you out? That way you wouldn't have to perform any of your community service at all. You know, you really need your head examined. You probably arranged for me to come work here just so you could torture someone named Crane on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Um, if I might say something. What? what? It's clear neither of you wants to be around the other. Oh, you got that right, There's Hank. double for me. Well, there is a way out of this mess. Well, I'm all ears. Before you got back, Miss Crane offered to make a sizable financial contribution to the center in lieu of her hundred hours. Oh, a bribe! Oh, no, no, no. I am not going to give you another reason to arrest me. Forget it. Hold on a second. There's no need to be hasty here, okay? You know the center needs some money. If you let Miss Crane write another check, then... There's no way I'm letting her buy her way out of her sentence. But there are some things that Crane money can't corrupt. You know, I don't need to take this from you. Well, you won't have to. I'm calling Judge Lawford and having you transfer to some other volunteer organization. I just pity the poor people who she assigns you to. You know, why don't you have me signed up for a chain gang? I'd rather go do that than have to work for you. Oh. <sighs> it's been some day for you, hasn't it? You've got no idea. I've got just the ticket to relax you. How about joining me for dinner tonight? Sure. Great. I'm not questioning your judgment, Your Honor. It's just that you didn't know all the facts. Take my word for it. This is not gonna work. Yes, Your Honor. I understand. Yes, Your Honor. So where'd you have me reassigned to, officer? Cleaning restrooms in the bus terminals or picking up roadkill off the highways? The judge refused to reassign your community service. You've got to be kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? Hey, so you have to work together. What's 100 hours? It'll be over in no time. 